The Hebrew community had increased in Egypt. Despite their Hebrew enslavement, the Pharaoh feared their numbers. The edict came from the Pharaoh, sharp and swift. Every Hebrew boy must be thrown into the river and drowned. The Hebrews had, had dodged such doubters before, but this time Pharaoh called for genocide, drowned in the river. Those words formed a dark cloud over the Hebrew community. Hebrew tears filled the Nile River twice over, but one woman refused to obey the Pharaoh. She hid her baby. The danger increased as the baby grew. Resolving to see her child live, she gathered papyrus and weaved a basket. She covered the basket with pitch and tar to seal it. She laid her small son into the basket, covered it with a lid, and placed him among the reeds in the Nile, sending him on a journey that only God could design. The baby's sisters, Miriam, waited crouched among the reeds, close enough to protect her brother from the scorching sun and the Nile River. Little Moses' basket got caught in the reeds and also caught the eye of an Egyptian princess bathing there. Miriam watched, still as a statue, holding her breath. The princess lifted the basket and realized that the baby was Hebrew. Feeling compassion towards the boy and knowing the pharaoh's edict, the princess decided to raise the infant. This was the sign Miriam needed. She ran quickly to the princess and offered to get a Hebrew nurse, Moses' mother, to nurse him until he was weaned. The Egyptian princess agreed and the baby was reunited with his mother because Miriam served her family.